Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna keep it quick. Buddy from the field here. Truck drove out onto the road, presented symptoms of everything's perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden just dies. Dies, no sputtering, no nothing, just flat line, that's it. Ripples dropped to zero, that's it. So, what we did to test that first, we took off the supply line to the fuel filter. We thought, uh, or sorry, from the fuel filter back there, that one right there, from the fuel filter, we took off this supply line here, turned on the ignition, we got diesel pouring out of here. Now the spec says 500 mils, half a liter in 10 seconds. We didn't quite measure it, but judging by how much fuel poured out of there, we said it's pretty good. Changed the filter in there just to be safe. The filter was absolutely black. It looked like it had been neglected. I'm gonna see if I can maybe throw a picture. Throw a picture into it. So we tested that line, we got diesel pressure coming in. Next, we took off one of the injectors over here. We unscrewed that right there. When the truck is off, do not ever touch this stuff when the truck is on. But when it was off, we took it off. We tried to bump it, we tried to run it. Nothing, no diesel coming out of there. So we took off the supply to the fuel rail itself over here that one right there we took that off no diesel coming out of there so we took it off right off the pump here no diesel coming out of there so we're like maybe it's going to the return we popped off the return no diesel coming out of there either so the pump the diesel's getting it to the pump it's not going anywhere else past that we kind of diagnosed that down no, to being in the time. uh i didn't know anybody that fought more let me turn off so. that in the background we kind of diagnosed that the fuel is getting here, but it's not getting past here. So, we start looking around for a pump, get a used CP3 pump. Now, taking these things off is a bear. If you're not doing this in a shop, if you're doing this on a rainy day like I was yesterday, it's gonna be a pain, all right? So, what you do is, luckily for this one, that it's got the, uh, the low flow EGR equipment that uh, takes that out of the way for us, but, you basically squeeze in here 13 millimeters. There's one screw over here, one screw on the other side, right back there, and there's one screw on the very bottom. 13 mils, you bust all those off. You take off your belt, just let it hang low. You let your, uh, let your belt hang low, get it out of the way, put your socket on that cover right there, that cover right focus come on there you go that cover right there it just takes a regular uh, right there you just put a ratchet on there take it off now to get in there with what you got going on here without removing the fan without doing any of that what I did was I just went and got this cheap puller kit and it's got what we needed right here which is the m8 125 Keep in mind, this is all done out of a van in the field. So, I'm sure if somebody was coming at this and they had a couple days, you know, you could. But I did what I did. So you can see the two bolts that I used. You can see the amount of force that went through this cheap Taiwanese kit right here. The second thing you're going to run into is this thing. Once you start screwing it in here, it is too long to fit. It's too long to fit. It's going to start hitting your fan clutch. So, not a big problem, busted out the grinder, cut it down to size. So that went in there, your two bolts went one right there, one right there. You put them onto the gear of the CP3 and you will just have enough space to push that, that gear off of this shaft right here. Here's another close up of the uh, bolt layout. So as it sits on your truck, it's something like that. So you got one bolt back here, one over here, and one down here. This is gonna be a hard one because you're gonna have wires and stuff, but you can just kind of feel it out with your fingers. You'll get to it. Um, yeah, so did a quick and dirty CP3 replacement. Those were my symptoms. At first we thought it was a lift pump. Then we thought maybe filter. Then we thought maybe we could get lucky, you know, replace the filter and it'll be good. Nope, nope, nope. It's the CP3 and it failed in the most particular and peculiar, that's the word I'm trying to use, most peculiar way. 
So that pump that we got from the junkyard for 300 and change, when you spin it over, you spin this one, you can't hear anything. Nothing's moving in there. You don't feel any gushing, right? Nothing. The other one, you can hear it actually gushing in there. It's almost like the shaft is broken somewhere in there or something. Like, it's spinning, but I don't know what's going on. But yeah, that's the symptoms we had. That's what I did to fix it. Hopefully the next uh, part of the video is going to be the truck running nice and good on the side of the road here. Alrighty, boys and girls, she's alive. Now I'm gonna go take a break, have a sandwich, drink a coffee, and haul this thing home. <laughs>